Hello everybody, welcome to Miss Bobby's Home Cooking. Today I am going to be making a delicious classic beef stew. So let's get started. I have already washed my vegetables and I'm going to start by dicing my celery. And I will have the recipe in the description box below. I have, I'm going to use about a quarter of a red bell pepper. Please like and subscribe and give me a thumbs up and share. And I'm going to use about a half of a green bell pepper. One medium onion diced. And of course I have my carrots. I'm going to give this a little mix to make sure I got the right proportions. Yep, looks good. Okay, so let's get started on the meat. I washed and dried, patted dry on both sides. It's important to dry the meat. And I'm cutting away this extra fat. And I will be cutting this beef chuck, which is two and a half pounds, into small inch squares. And we want to make sure we season this meat with salt, mix it really well. In fact, we want to generously season, add a little more salt just to make sure we are going to have good flavor on the meat. We're going to add about, about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of oil. I have olive oil here. You can use any oil you like. Make sure the pan is good and hot and we are not going to overcrowd the pan. So we're trying to get a good sear. We're going to sear one side and flip it over. That's what we're looking for right there, that sear. And because I have a good amount of meat, a good amount of meat, I'm going to cook my meat in three batches so I won't overcrowd the pan. Overcrowding the pan will keep us from getting a good sear. And I'm going to cut my potatoes, my red potatoes, into nice sized pieces while I'm waiting for my meat to finish searing. Okay, so here we have our meat. It's nice and seared, not cooked through, just seared. And so now we're going to add another tablespoon or so of olive oil and two tablespoons of butter so we can get some goodness on our veggies as well. And I add my garlic in last. I'm going to add about um, three cloves of garlic, minced. Fresh garlic is always the best. I put it in last because I don't want it to burn. And then we're going to add about two tablespoons of flour. Not quite two tablespoons. Mix it well. Cook the flour off. And now we're going to add everything into our crock pot. This dish is going to cook for about six hours on low. Add all our ingredients. Add our potatoes. And then we're going to add four cups of beef stew broth. 
four cups of beef broth. Mix it well. One small can of tomato paste. Better than bouillon cube is a must. Don't leave this step out at all. About two tables two tablespoons. We're gonna add in our garlic powder, garlic a garlic powder and our onion powder and some paprika. Like I said, the um, recipe description will be in the description box below. We have some pepper, a little bit of celery seeds, about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Add my bay leaves in. And then we have a rosemary, fresh rosemary, and about three-fourths cup of wine. You do not have to use wine if you do not like to add wine. You can just add a little more beef broth. And so with about an hour to go in this dish, we're going to add our frozen peas in. And here we have it. Delicious. Please like and subscribe. And enjoy. Thanks for watching.